This video is going to cover some of the basics of plant evolution and some of the key factors that divide different species and complexity, starting all the way with the common ancestor being green algae and progressing all the way to flowering plants. You can see mosses, ferns, gymnosperms, pine trees being in between the mix there. So there's four key evolutionary advances that occurred in the evolution of the plant kingdom. First is the alternation of generations. This is where the sporophyte, the two-end uh, component of the life cycle, became the dominant uh, generation in all but the earliest of plants. And the earliest of plants, we're talking early being close in descendant to that green algae. Vascular tissue transports water and nutrients through the plant body and provides structural support. It's another key evolutionary advancement. Another key evolutionary advancement is development of seeds. And this provides nutrients and protection for the plant embryo until it encounters favorable conditions to grow in. And the last one are flowers and fruits. This is considered the most advanced plant species. They improve the chances of successful mating and sedentary organisms and facilitated dispersal of their own seeds. We see here our non-vascular, our green algae, our mosses, very early in development. Non-seeded vascular plants are one of the first ones to develop. Those are examples would be ferns. Going all the way to conifers, which are like pine trees, and then ultimately to flowering plants, which is developing those fruits in those flowers. This again gives you the cladogram of kind of the basic progression here. Again, green algae is starting at the, both, at the base of both of these, going on to seedless non-vascular plants, um, going then to seedless vascular plants at development of the vascular tissue, to naked seed plants or gymnosperms, also you may know them as pine trees, ultimately going to flowering seeded plants called angiosperms. There will be more detail provided on each of these, but that gives you the basic direction of the proposed evolution of plant species.